Hi, this is Rajesh from Technora.in and welcome to another episode of the Technora Coffee Minute. In this episode, I'm going to talk to you about how you can take your milk frothing technique to the next level using the Technora coffee machines and also show you how you can, you can achieve the perfect milk frothing consistency by ear by paying attention to the sound alone. So this, this video is actually a sequel to another video we did earlier, links for which are given below and I suggest you watch it, in which we had already explained to you how to do uh, frothing, uh, milk frothing on the, on, the, uh, on the classical. And this is a sequel or an, an, a supplement to that and in, in which we are going to give you two tips to take your frothing actually to the next level. The purpose of frothing milk, the, the, the actual idea is not only just to heat up the milk but to give it a kind of a silky a silky paint like structure so uh, what, what, what we need is something that is that is going to flow uh, with you know like velvet onto your milk that, that's 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 the whole idea of of making a, a, a creamy cappuccino or even doing some latte art so it's it's called a process called the stretching of milk so that's how you stretch the milk you stretch the proteins you make the whole uh, milk appear thicker and you give it a creamy uh, silky texture so tip number one is, uh, is 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 the steam generation itself so normally when you when you move from the from the brew to the steam position when you flick the uh, switch from the brew to the steam position the light turns off you have to wait a bit and the light turns on again now when this time the light turns on is when you know that the boiler has reached the actual temperature or it has risen and uh, steam can be released now and what you would normally do is you would then slowly open the knob allow the first gush of water to come out and then watch the steam come out of the uh, of the steam spout but the tip number one here is slightly different so when the light turns green the second time indicating that the boiler has reached the steam temperature don't open the knob immediately wait for 15 seconds so literally count in your head from 1 2 3 4 up to 15 and after you have finished the 15th count then you can open the steam knob allow the, the, the water to spurt out and then you'll have a gush of steam coming out the idea here is we are allowing some steam to collect within the boiler uh, this is going to give you uh, more steam time or more steam availability small steam volume so when you open the steam knob after 15 seconds you'll have the first gush of steam coming out and then and the next uh, uh, the next volume of steam is going to be generated so you'll basically have a uh, a longer duration of steam coming out a longer duration of powerful steam coming out than than before tip number two is uh, actually observing the sound when you froth the milk as i explained to you before that what we need is micro bubbles of air entering into the surface of the milk we don't need gurgly large bubbles uh, entering the milk we need these small micro bubbles entering the milk now that is going to happen only when you're going to allow these micro air to enter the surface of the milk in a particular fashion and that is by observing the sound so when you put the tip of the spout into the surface of the milk or just below the surface what we need to do is to adjust the steam knob such that you get that enough gush of steam that generates a kind of a uh, surfing sound or a hissing sound so once you notice that you've got the hissing sound once you've tried uh, adjusting the the height of the milk spout uh, i'm sorry the height of the jug to the milk spout to a point where you can you can hear a hiss or a surfing sound instead of a gurgle that's the right sweet spot that you're looking for once you get that hold on hold on for about 15 seconds and let some froth generate at this point you're going to see that a lot of uh, micro froth is generating at that point where you can hear the hissing sound that's perfect so keep it there for about maybe 10 or 15 seconds and then keeping the same traction move the jug to another area to the other area of the jug and allow the same traction to move forward and the same hissing sound to happen in the other area as well so that you start basically and you so basically you start having a lot of micro bubbles air enter into the entire surface area of, of the jug it's at this point when you can actually raise the jug a bit 
and allow the spout to go deeper into the milk and then allow the steam to pass through and warm the entire volume of the milk slowly so you've generated enough foam at the at the at the top and now you just move the steam down towards the milk to to basically uh, to to heat up the whole uh, uh, jug so once you've done that and you find you touch and you find you i mean you hold the jug and you find that it's warm enough take it out shut the steam spout tap the jug a bit onto the table remove the larger bubbles swirl it around let the micro bubbles you know swirl around let 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 it let it mingle into the milk and then when when you see you have some kind of a homogeneous paint like thick structure that's when you reach the uh, the exact uh, the result that we're looking for do a bit of practice i mean it it takes it takes uh, a little bit of patience but it's definitely going to work out now let me show you exactly how it's done this is the surfing sound and if if you don't observe this and make it a gurgling sound you probably make the steam higher so this is not what you want you don't want this gurgling sound we want a softer sound yeah something like this so you can see there's a huge layer of microfoam now so now i've got enough foam so i'm pushing this inside to to warm up the entire thing oh it's really hot now i can i can feel it in my hand so this is like really warm and the whole thing has warmed up completely so that's a lot of foam if i were to pour it into a glass that's the milk that has just come out and i can pour the foam at the end there you go so that's it thank you very much for watching i i i hope you enjoyed this video for more information on uh, on coffee making and on coffee techniques and and information about coffee please jump on to our channel technora tv there's lots of information there lots of videos to 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 help you understand how to make uh, coffee at home how to how to bring the same coffee experience that you have in coffee shops to your home um i enjoy doing this i hope you enjoy watching this uh, hope to see you soon thank you bye